What's up? Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking oxtails. All right, so now once you get your oxtails out, you want to create a marinade. These are going to marinate for at least one to eight hours, usually overnight. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to marinate them overnight. But the first thing you do is you want to take these bad boys right here. These are pretty big monsters. You want to cut some of that fat off that's in there like I did. These still have a little fat because you want it to cook through when you when you put it inside your crock pot. But add a little bit of water. Rinse them out. Add a little bit more water and some lemon, half a lemon. Because you want to get these nice and clean. The other thing that the lemon is going to do is it's going to allow it not to get brown overnight. Even though the browning will do that, right? But yeah, the lemon will get it nice and clean for you. So let's go ahead and do that. Just get in there with your hands and wash that joint, man. Yeah. So let me take a second to go through these dry and these wet ingredients. And so... You have sriracha, if you want that kick. You know, you can do it with or without sriracha. Then you have your browning, which is gonna give it that dark color that you want. It's gonna add that to the gravy. Uh, Worcestershire sauce, minced ginger. You can use fresh ginger if you like. Jerk seasoning. You need a spoonful of that. Soy sauce. Then on this side, you have seasoned salt, pepper, Red pepper flakes, if you want to kick it up a notch. Lemon pepper. And then you have your island all-purpose seasoning. You want to need all-purpose seasoning in there. And to that, you want to add a roughly chopped medium onion. You have a half a bell pepper right there. And you have two large cloves of garlic. So that's going to be all our, all our ingredients for our marinade. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And go. One thing I left out was the allspice. Don't forget this. Add this in. Uh, if you really want to know, like, every little detail of what I put in, all of the measurements, just look down below. You'll see that. All right. Got the dry ingredients in there. Got the wet ingredients in. Gave it a nice mix. And just want to let that marinate for one to eight hours. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, we're back for day two. Let's do it. This is what they look like after marinating all night. You see some of that juice down in there. Nice and brown. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pan sear them first. You know, uh, each side for about five minutes. At this point, I like the color, but I don't think they're quite brown enough. So what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of browning to the pan before I go ahead and sear them up. But what I add every time, no matter what, whether they're dark or not, I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar and let that caramelize. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of browning in there. Have to let that cook up. Clear the excess off of the oxtail. All those little onions and peppers and all that stuff put that in back into your mix and take that right like that you want to do about two three sides because you see it has the, the fat on it you want to put that fat down for a little bit but we're going to do that for all of them you want to get that stuff off and then Put it right in the pan, boom. Watch them bad boys stir up. Looking good, baby. Looking real good. So, while that's browning up, I just want to show you that um, I added, I usually add two cups of beef broth at least, and one cup of water, but I had some broth from the last time that I made mine, so I added that in. And then I added in that beef broth, like one can of beef broth, small drink. 
And then if you want to make more, after you can, you can kind of eye it after you put your oxtails in if you want more gravy. My family happens to like a lot of gravy, so we go ahead and we add more water to it. Stretch it out a little bit. This is the leftovers that we have from the marinade that we put in. And I wish we had smell of vision right now. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So we're just going to add this in. So we're going to put in the oxtails first. And then we're going to dump in the rest of that marinade. See if we need. All right, so at this point, I already put the little ones in, right? into the crock pot but we got our crock pot over here and i'm just going to take these bad boys and i'm just going to put them into the crock pot crock pot's already set on high right now so we're going to go in with the oxtail the remaining look at that look at that look at that oh my god hmm. that jaw look crazy that y'all look crazy right there. Mm. Caramelized to perfection. Gonna go in with that. And now I just wanna take my little bits that I have here and just add them right on there. They're gonna, they're gonna cook down. They're gonna cook down really nice. Uh, maybe a little bit of water. Just to get the last of that, slash it around. Add that right into the crock pot too. Yeah. Mix all that in. Now, I mean, that looks like enough gravy. As long as it's enough gravy to cover it, you don't want to go too high with that. Unless, like I said, unless your family really loves gravy, then go ahead and add in as much as you want. But after you seal that top, you seal that top right there, boom. Four to five hours cooking on high. Let it go till it's fall off the bone, and I'm gonna come back so we can eat a little bit. All right, now these bad boys have been cooking for about four and a half hours, and you know, starting to get, well, they are. And now they're nice and tender, all right. Two last things that I want to add. One is a can of butter beans for this last half hour. And then I took two tablespoons of flour here, two tablespoons of flour, a little bit of water, slosh that around. I want to add that right in just to thicken that gravy up uh, the way that, that I like it. You can see the gravy is sort of, sort of thin here. So I just want to thicken that up a little bit over this last half hour. And if I need to add more flour, I'll definitely do that. But as of right now, that's looking good. So everything is done. It's been low and slow for about five hours, falling off the bone. I want to get the biggest ones in here. I already got my rice. Usually what I do is I add some, a little bit of ginger flavor, some ground ginger, or that bottled ginger, and a little bit of chicken stock. I'm gonna get two of these big, big ones here. Oop, see, you see that? You see that slip off of there? Cause they're falling off the bone right now. Hey man, I can't even get a solid place to do this video in my own house. So, as you can see, I'm in the office. But let's dig in anyway. Let's dig in. This right here. This right here. Let me tell you. And I got biscuit to sop up that juice with. Man, let's not even do that. Look, I can tell you 
the fork lets you know because if you can take it and and do like that and just twist through it and pick out some meat that's how you know it's that's how you know it's tender right there jeez still like that Chain. It's off the chain, people. No lie to them. Okay. You can literally eat this every day with no complaints. Last meal, if I was on electric chair, if I was getting the electric chair, give me this. silent place to do this video in my own house so as you can see I'm in the office but let's dig in anyway let's dig in this right here this right here let me tell you and I got biscuit to sop up that juice with Let's not even do that. Look, I can tell you the fork lets you know. Because if you can take it and and do like that and just twist through it and pick out some meat, that's how you know it's that's how you know it's tender right there. Jeez. Still like that. It's off the chain, people. I don't lie to them. Damn. You can literally eat this every day with no complaints. Last meal, if I was on electric chair, if I was getting the electric chair, give me this. So there you have it. Oxtail's done my way. I'm gonna go get seconds, probably thirds once I'm done. Uh, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to cook next. Uh, anything, 
that you want me to cook, I got you. I'm going to show you how to do that. But in my style. And remember, it's your style. So do that.